Why is buying real estate a different type of investment than any other investment? Why is it better in so many ways? I'll tell you. To stick around, but to hear more great mortgage advice like I'm about to give you, like, share, subscribe below, and we'll send you new videos every week. You'll get the little ding and you'll know they're there. So why is buying real estate more uh, or different really than any other investment and really a great investment in so many ways? Well, let me give you an example. This is actually, I'll just give you like a hypothetical. Let's pretend like you were gonna buy a home for $500,000, okay? And let's pretend like you were gonna put 20% down. $100,000. When you put your $100,000 down as your down payment, the 20%, and you finance the other $400,000 so that you could purchase a $500,000 asset, the home, you are leveraging your cash. You're literally saying, even though I'm only putting $100,000 down, I'm going to get the benefit and the return on $500,000 worth of an asset. So let's just say real estate, which has been appreciating at ridiculous high levels, right? 20%, 30% a year. Let's say we don't think that's going to continue. That's probably not sustainable. Let's go extremely conservative, extremely conservative. Let's say we see a 4% return on your investment, which would be really, really conservative compared to what we've been seeing. The predictions are more like six to seven this next year in 2022. I can't guarantee, I'm not making predictions myself, I'm just saying what the economists are saying. Um, but let's go conservative, 4%. So you buy this home for $500,000, you put $100,000 down, and you get a 4% return on $500,000. And so what is that? That's $20,000. So you made $20,000 in one year, on a $100,000 investment. That's a 20% return, okay? And that's in a very conservative market. You can imagine, like let's say we're 10%, $50,000 on a $500,000 home, on a $100,000 investment, that's a 50% return. So it's the one asset, it's the one investment that you can make where you leverage your cash and you put, put down a smaller amount of your own cash down on that investment, but you get the benefit of the asset in total, the full value of the home, and your return is based on the full value of the home, not the amount you put down, right? Not like a stock, um, when you when you invest in a stock, you get a return based on the amount of money you put into that stock, okay? That's it. So if a stock goes down, or maybe it goes all the way down, you could lose everything, right? With a home, if the value of a home goes down, you still have your home, you still have the asset. And if you don't need to sell, and that's always the name of the game, you never wanna buy a home thinking, oh, I might need to sell this in the short term. So assuming you don't need to sell and you keep that home, even if values were to dip a little, the end game in real estate is values always long-term go up. And some of the wealthiest people in the world, the majority of millionaires in the world have made their wealth real estate because they have learned the trick of leveraging their cash and creating returns based on a much bigger asset than what their cash actually um, was create was put into that asset. So if you want to learn more about how to make money in real estate, how to build wealth through real estate, give us a call. Michelle Oda, the Oda Group. We'd love to advise you, put together some strategies and show you how to make money or in your money. Give us a call today. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe below.